Hey guys, MCU Collector here with another figure review. Next up is the Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified Series number 54. This is the Target exclusive Tiger Force David L. Katzenbogen a Bazooka. So I remember having some G.I. Joe figures as a kid. I remember watching the cartoon. Um, and I do remember Bazooka because he's got the football jersey. Like, how can you forget that? Uh, but anyway, it's been a while since I've done any G.I. Joe uh, figure review. So I'm going to try and quickly get through... Um, it, it, them. I have like 15, 16, like almost 20 G.I. Joe figures that I that I haven't opened and need to get through. So I'm going to try and do the G.I. Joe reviews uh, quicker than I would do Marvel Legends figures or even Power Rangers at this point, which I don't do very often anyway. Um, but I want to try and get through them as quickly as I can. I don't want to just not do reviews. I want to get through them. Um, so I, I'll, I'll try my best to keep them down well under 10 minutes. Uh, so we'll go through things quickly. So we see a Target Force logo there. We have the artwork of Bazooka there looking pretty cool on the side artwork. We see him there as well. You can see number 54. We have those different insignias there for uh, Bazooka. Here is the back of the package of the Tiger Force figures. And then we're just going to get right into it, open it up, and take a look at the accessories in the figure. Okay, so here is the bazooka figure and all of the accessories that he comes with. So we'll quickly go through this. He does have a backpack piece which does hold all the, the, the four rockets that it comes with. These are all the same. So we'll take a closer look and these look pretty good. They're just done in this green, um, this dark green plastic as you can see there. And then they can actually go on to uh, the backpack piece. So you kind of have to slip them down in a little bit. And then they just go, uh, rest in there like so. Boom, like that, so that is pretty cool. We could do all four of them. They go in pretty easily, and they kind of snap into place, which is kind of cool. So bam, you have all four in the backpack there. He does have this helmet in this nice orangish red color with this leather, brown leather band and brown leather for the straps. Inside has this leather uh, brown color. Um, we'll put that on the head in a little bit. And then we have this bazooka here, uh, which is pretty cool, so as you can see, there and then this back piece opens up which I would uh, I assume is to load uh, the bazooka rocket launcher right and that looks pretty good not a whole lot it's kind of that dark green color but a little bit of a dark gray color right in there added in same on this other side and there we go now let's take a closer look at the figure Okay, so here's an up-close look at Bazooka. You can see it has all his mustache glory. Um, a little bit light on the paint on the edges of the mustache on both sides. But other than that, paint apps look really good. His hair is sculpted nicely. Uh, looking at his jersey, paint apps are all nice. The 14 lines up nicely. You can see the peg hole in the back where you would plug in the uh, backpack piece. It's got the wrist bands there. Um, stripes on the sh the sleeves look okay and then the tiger force uh, pants with the yellow tiger stripes along uh, there and then just brown boots and then you have this brown belt with a little bit of a uh, silver paint for the buckle there and that is pretty cool the backpack piece you, you can see there there is a peg so it is just going to peg onto his back like so which um, how does a backpack stay on there with a, a football jersey and no straps it's just one of those things you just kind of have to ignore the helmet fits on nicely as you could see there that works really well and then you could do the strap you can kind of do something or you could put this in his hands which we'll take a look at now Okay, so here is Bazooka holding the rocket launcher uh, there, and that looks pretty good. And these, what the really cool thing about these rockets is these fin pieces here. Uh, the way they sculpted the inside of the barrel, it goes so you can't actually twist these around inside. I mean, if you enough force, you can. Um, but it kind of goes in there and, and kind of locks it in place a little bit, or at least doesn't allow for it to kind of move around so much on the inside, which is really cool. Now, from the back piece, if you unport that, you can actually plug in another rocket is kind of I assume kind of how that could work but you guys can correct me down in the comments below if that is not accurate and I don't know what it is I'm talking about let me know um, in the comments below but yeah that looks pretty good now let's go ahead and take a look at bazooka's articulation okay so bazooka's articulation so the head is on a dumbbell joint on that neck piece so he's not going to actually get up to look up a whole lot you can get him to look up that much looking down isn't as big a problem because that neck is actually a separate piece which helps um get the neck to lean forward so he can look down you get full rotation on 
Um, that head and then the neck itself also can rotate since it is a separate piece on a ball joint So you can get a lot of circular motion in there, which can give you some um, Crazy looking pivot and things like that on the neck the shoulders you can get to go straight on out like so you get a full rotation in there There is a butterfly joint, but I'm gonna be honest with you It is extremely limited to the point where it's almost useless in my opinion. I mean, I guess you get some cross body but like not a lot you can't even really to get it to go back uh, you have an upper bicep swivel in there you get a double jointed elbow that is pinless so you get that much bend there at the elbow that looks pretty good wrists swivel um, and they have the vertical hinge on there which is great because these are trigger finger hands so they are getting it right um, on bazooka he has the upper diaphragm cut so he can pivot to his left that much he could pivot to his right that much and it throws off the 14 only a little bit because if you look when he's pivoted right that still looks like it kind of holds in place but when you go to the other side that's when it's like oh no that's that's definitely not going to work uh you can get it to go lean back a little bit you can get it to come forward somewhat as you could see there you do have a swivel in that diaphragm cut and then we also have the uh ball joint at the waist so you could pivot total uh that much there isn't as much pivot on that waist um, but you do also get a swivel going on in there, but total like going back is that far total coming forward Unfortunately isn't a whole lot more uh, The legs do have the drop down hips as you can see there So you can get the legs to do a full complete splits as you can see there You can kick forward very high drop them down uh, And you can kind of kick out with that leg you have an upper thigh cut in there you get a double jointed knee that is not pinless. These look like they were reused knees probably from like Gung Ho and Roblox. Uh, but double jointed knee there. You get a swivel at the boot, foot hinges down. You get some hinge up, ankle pivot, pickles at the bottom of the feet. And I feel like the feet are really small for these boots, unfortunately. Uh, but solid figure for bazooka. We're gonna go ahead and end it there as I'm trying to keep these reviews as short as possible but solid figure solid um, Articulation I really like the accessories the helmet is definitely a nice touch the backpack is really cool I like the individual rockets um, Which is nice and then uh, the rocket launcher or bazooka. I guess it would be um, all look really nice, but you guys let me know down in the comments below. What do you think of this bazooka figure? Uh, Target pre-orders are supposed to be shipping out starting January 13th, but they are popping up in stores finally now. Um, let me know if you guys are going to pick it up or if you're going to pass. Um, hit me up in the comments below. If you guys like this video, please do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Hit that join button to become a channel member and join the MCU Collective. And as always, thank you for watching.